Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to make finally another video. I know I haven't made one in about two to three weeks, but I am gonna be really honest, I haven't had time or the creativity to make a video and I only wanna put out content that I truly enjoy and I think it's good enough for y'all. So I'm finally making a video. I'm gonna show this makeup look and I'm also going to do three different outfits you can do for Valentine's Day when you're going out with your friends, on a date, Galentine's, whatever it is that you're doing. I just think they're really cute and I'm so excited. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're gonna start with putting our hair up first. And I dyed my hair about a week ago and I just thought it'd be a fun, bold look. I haven't dyed my hair in like three years, like when the pandemic started. So we're gonna start off with primer. I'm gonna do that real quick. And then we're just gonna put a little on our finger. Put it all over our skin. And it feels really sticky. I haven't used this one in a really long time. So I'm gonna let it dry off. And so once we're done with that, we're gonna add my House Labs foundation. Now I'm going for like a full night out or just for the whole day look. And I'm gonna start with up here, a pump on this side, and I'm just gonna spread out these pumps. I honestly think that this should be enough, but I don't use foundation. I just use concealer most days, so I'll build it up. And yeah. And I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. And honestly, not much has happened since I recorded my last video. It's been a hot minute, but I have a lot of new video ideas that I have been thinking about and February will definitely have a lot more videos. I have a trip planned for the end of this month, so that should be exciting. And this lighting so weird today. Okay, so that angle was super weird, so I had to change spots, but I'm gonna go in with my concealer. And I ran out of the other one that I really like. I, I'm gonna be very honest, I don't love this one. I feel like it creases a lot in my under eye. Maybe I'm putting on too much, but I just don't love it. But we are on a budget, so I'm not gonna be picky about what I have. I'm just gonna tap away. Let it sit for a second so that I can, you know, grab a color and then I'm gonna blend it out. But honestly, like it has been really good right now. I've just been busy with school and I finally finished my first unit in my real estate course, which I was very excited to do. So now I have 27 more, <laughs> so that should be fun to complete. And once that concealer is blended, I'm going with my Rare Beauty Blush, just like everyone. And a little goes a long way. I just like doing one little circle. And same thing. I like to blend it out with my finger first. This is honestly the same routine as like my everyday routine, but the only different thing is the eyes. I know I look crazy and I know I like I just went like this with a blush but it'll go away it'll fade out after um i put on powder and i add the bronzer so next i'm going with my bronzer that's not even a bronzer but that's fine and i am gonna go in with this brush and blend 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 I'm going in with the Fit Me um, by Maybelline and I'm just gonna tap it and put it everywhere. Okay, so I haven't fully decided what I want for my eyes, but I'm gonna be using these three palettes that I have so far. I'm gonna use the James Charles palette this Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette by Storybook Cosmetics 
and this morphe one um hot for you and i know morphe's going through it but we're on a budget and i can't like these palettes have been with me for a hot minute so i'm not gonna throw them out um but i am gonna start on the lid by adding this middle shade in hot hues right here that would be a fun shade I'm gonna apply it all over the eye I'm gonna do the same on the other eye so then I'm gonna go in with this corner right here you guys can see everything and I'm gonna put this as well I'm just gonna start going in until I find like the shade that I want for my eye look and so when we're here I think I want I want to add a heart somewhere I don't know where I kind of just like it like this I'm being very honest um Maybe we can add like a shimmer shade like right in here. So I'm gonna, this one in here is really nice. So I'm gonna go in with my finger, just go in. Okay, this is what we ended up with. And it's a really basic look, if I'm going to be very honest. But I think you can have more glitter. And you can always fix it. Lashes fix it. Personally, I like the eyes like this. And I, I don't know what else to do. So I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm going to quickly go through my lashes. See how the mascara changes your eye? Like... This gives it a different vibe. Okay, so here's what I have so far. And I am going with my Burberry lipstick that I bought. And maybe it'll look good with this look. But I just love how it looks. Like, it looks so cool. You see how my blush went away? <laughs> it looks like it wasn't ever there. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And it's very drastic, but like, I think it looks nice. Okay, so this is the makeup look. I think this is gonna be my finished look. I'm just gonna put on some of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray all over my face. I'm holding the camera because I forgot to put it back on. I didn't touch my eyebrows at all. And I know everyone's about doing their eyebrows, but I don't really care about my eyebrows. Okay, now for outfits, this is more of like a grungy look. It has the black boots. And this really cute coat and I'm just putting it with something simple with these earrings and this little necklace very simple and the coat just adds to it and if you're going out add some fun sunglasses to it there go. now this is the same look and it doesn't count as another look this is if you want to make it a little bit more soft and feminine. I changed the, out the earrings and instead of the big um, jacket, she was over a sweater and some sneakers. And I just thought that this just looked a little cuter, simpler, and it softened the look. This second outfit is really cute. If you want to go and be sporty, same basic drinks, necklace, and I think the pink just gives it just such a cute vibe for Valentine's Day. And you can just go out and run your errands, get your Starbucks, super cute outfit. Okay, and I have saved the best for last. I found the iconic Betsy Johnson 
purple heart dress and I think it's super cute without the jacket. It's very adorable. Feel like a princess. It's overall very cute, super comfortable. I would definitely wear it out on like a date night or a girls night. If you're gonna have Galentine's with your friends and y'all are dressing up, it's super cute. And you just pick out some cute shoes, maybe some cute heels, and then going very simple with the necklaces. But I think these earrings would be so cute with it. And it's definitely a very cute look. All right, so that is it for this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. It's definitely gonna be Valentine's Day themed. It's gonna be a bunch of snacks and cute activities and things you can do for Valentine's Day with your friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And I just thought that those would be really cute to put all in one video and I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you guys for watching. My social media is down below and thank you so much. Bye guys. Look, it's me. It is me holding a little 